If the bottle bill passes, life as we know it in this throwaway age will change. Every can or bottle drink or beer you buy will carry a 10 cent deposit. You'll get that 10 cent back when you return the can or bottle to the store. We probably won't have any more plastic containers because they're not recyclable. And the independent brands probably know more of them either because those companies don't want to have to handle the returns. And no independence, say grocers, means customers will have to buy the more expensive brand names. But what concerns the supermarkets more is where to stash the empties. At this store in Richmond, return bottles now require little warehouse space. Owner Gordon Edwards imagines the room he would have needed if the bottle bill had been in effect during a recent promotion. With 2,400 cases of soft drink sold, if we only returned 80% of them, we'd have about 1,600 cases of soft drink returns back in, back in this back room. So you can imagine it just would be overflow of soft drink returns. Edwards, a past president of the State Food Dealers Association, appreciates the aim of the bottle bill to stop litter, but he's afraid the new law, if passed, will do more harm than good. In Richmond, Joel Rubin, The Daily News.